If you are backing Hamas, I want you to consider a few things for a moment. This is just some footage I'm going to let roll in the background while I speak. You have a dilemma that you are causing if you are in agreement with Hamas. The first thing that you need to consider is if you are not a Muslim and you're saying these things, you should be extremely careful on the things that you're saying. I'm going to show some verses from the Quran to prove my point. Because if you did not know, this is not a geopolitical war at all. There are aspects of that, but this is a religious war. This war exclusively has to do with religion first and everything else comes afterwards. This is not a war on land. Anybody who knows anything about the relationship between Palestine and Jerusalem, Israel, would know that this would be the case. Again, if, you, if you're just watching the news, you might not know that, but if you do watch the news, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And if you've studied things, you know what I'm talking about. So if you're not a Muslim, you better be very, very careful promoting Hamas in these scenarios, right? Uh, he, here's, here's the first point I want to get to you. Um, since this is a Muslim versus Yahweh or, or Judaism, especially type war, let's consider some of the things that especially liberals or, or Democrats who are promoting uh, the things that Hamas has been doing, I want you to consider a few things. First off, uh, you, you, you are coming in, into a really interesting clashing right now. First off, obviously you are spitting in the face of and rejecting your own president by his support of uh, of, of the Jewish state, right? That's the first thing. The second thing is this, what are your thoughts on things like, um, women in power or women having equality with male? Well, uh, most people who I know who are Democrats would say that they are highly in favor of that. Well, what would you think if I told you that all of the Middle East, except for maybe one or two countries, even allows their women to drive or get educated at all because they see their women as that lowly. They, they just cook, clean, make baby, and that's all they do. Uh, I, I personally think that's horrible, personally. As a Christian, I believe that that's terrible, and hopefully you do as well. But that's what you're supporting when you're supporting groups like Hamas, right? Let me take you to some scriptures so that there's no ambiguity here. How about your view on homosexuality, um, right? It says, the two who commit shameful acts should be tortured. This is in regards to homosexuality. This is what Hamas believes about the LGBTQ community. They believe that if you uh, obey or follow any sort of same-sex attraction or, or, or at all, that they should be tortured to death for what they've done. I don't know about you, but uh, I, I disagree with that. Again, as a Christian, I disagree with torturing people to death. Hopefully you do as well. Uh, how about what uh, what it says about, about rape or, or even encouraging rape? Well, if you look at Quran uh, chapter 2, verse 223 or chapter 65, verse 4, you'll see that these things are not only allowed, but honored and glorified in the book of the Quran. So this is, again, what you are promoting by promoting these beliefs. Now, let me bring you to another, if I may. Uh, in regards to anti-Semitic language. Now, I understand that just because you are pro-Hamas, maybe, does not necessarily make you, or pro-Palestine, does not necessarily in and of itself make you um, anti-Semitic, but I just want you to consider some of the things that the Quran says and see if you agree with these statements. Uh, something like, the punishment of those who wage war against the law and his apostles strive to make mischief in the land uh, is only this, they should be murdered or crucified by the hands or the feet should be cut off on the opposite side and they should be imprisoned. Interesting. How about this? That they should be a disgrace to the world and they should have a grievous chastisement from here on after. Do not take the Jews or the Christians for friends, for they uh, are friends of each other. And whoever amongst them takes them as a friend, surely one of them, Allah does not guide you to unjust people. And by the way, if, if you were a Muslim and you were to obey what the Quran says here, um, then you would obviously be pleasing in the sight of Allah. If you did not, then you would also be murdered for not following this as a Muslim. So um, again, for, for those who are Muslims out there or for those who are um, Democrats, I, I just want you to consider the, the magnitude of these words that are being said in these passages here, because that's what you're saying when you're saying you agree with this. You're saying that you agree with the, the, the rape of, of innocent human beings, right? Because remember for a second, if this is a political, if this is a geopolitical, if this is a geographical war, if that's what this attack is on, if that's what this force is on, then wouldn't they be capti uh, holding captive the military members or even the government officials? Why would you be doing random innocent civilians, right? And this is the, the, the attack that I've heard from uh, people who are pro-Palestine towards Israel is that Israel is attacking people in Palestine who are just innocent. Um, but but again, like th this is what Hamas did from the start intentionally to take them as captives, take them as slaves, so that they could get some sort of uh, you know negotiations done at a later point. The other thing that they've done, again, these are facts. You can look all of these things up. I don't I don't think I don't think anyone's even debating what I'm saying right now. Um, 
that they're hiding intentionally in places like synagogues, mosques, and schools, and hospitals, and whatnot. And then when Israel goes and attacks those people, it's because, uh, and, and other people get hurt, it's because of the places that these cowards are hiding in the first place. Now, another thing I want you to consider is all war is bad, right? I, I don't, I think that everybody can also probably agree with that. That like, I don't like any war of any sort. Hopefully you don't like any war of any sort. I wish no war would be going on at all. Um, but remember, this is not political. This is not geopolitical. This is religious. This is a religious war. This is a war based upon what they are following by the words of the Quran versus what uh, the Jewish people believe of following the God of Yahweh or attempting to follow the God of Yahweh. The thing that you need to consider is when you're watching all these attacks, if you're watching footage from Hamas, what are they saying in the midst of every single one of these experiences? They're saying Allah Akbar. All praise be to God. Right? That, that's what this whole thing is about. This whole thing is about that. When they're tearing down the wall, Allah Akbar. That's what they're saying this entire time. So that's what this conversation is about. That's what this war is really, really about. If you're really coming down to brass tacks, that's what this is about. Last thing I want you to consider. If you are not a Muslim, or if you are a lukewarm or fake Muslim, like somebody who claims to follow Islam, but you're actually not following Islam. Again, I want you to consider the words of the Quran. That the Quran, just like we looked at, is commanding you to be killed by other people, by, by these other Muslims. That's, that's what they're commanding you to do. They're commanding these people to kill you. Uh, if you have seen uh, any other videos on my channel before, I covered a specific video in regards to Patrick Bet David's podcast being done. And he was asked in this podcast, uh, the thoughts of, um, you know, Christians versus Muslims. Extremely and haunting to me, like with that. And I just wanted to play you a quick clip here um, from this video so that you can hear um, some of the things that are said by these Muslims. And this happened, by the way, this happened before any of this broke out. But I want you to answer. Quick. If you're a Christian, this should horrify you. Because this is concerns me. Do you believe I should be put to death? I believe that the punishment for apostasy in a correct Islamic state is death. I believe that that's so the correct. You can finish. Let me just respond. Yeah. Sir. I believe that that is the correct punishment, which has been revealed by God, both in the Quran. You get the idea. Point proven. This is what Muslims believe. If you are sitting next to a Muslim in America who obeys the Quran, there's plenty out there who do not and who would reject these kinds of things because, again, they're, they would be called fake or false or, 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 you know, lukewarm Muslims. They would obviously disagree with that. So there's probably most people you know, they would probably disagree with this. But if people are actually obeying and listening to the words of the Quran and obeying them, this is what you believe. So somebody like this gentleman right here, he is worshiping right now and praising Allah on his knees, thanking God that so many Jews have been murdered because he's an anti-Semite. He's an anti-Zionist. He hates the Jewish people because of no other reason other than the fact that they're Jewish. And this is the kind of thing that you're praising if you are agreeing with the things that Hamas is doing right now. Other point is you should watch out because you may be next. Maybe not in the United States. Maybe you won't have that concern in the next year or 10 years. I don't know how long. But you need to understand that if these same Hamas members got to you and saw that you weren't following Allah either, they would be doing the exact same thing to you. They would be raping, murdering, and then parading your body in the streets for glory to Allah. That's who you, that, that's who you are praising when you are doing this. Hopefully that really rings a bell with people. Anyways, if this has helped, please subscribe for more updates as this.